Welcome everybody to a brand new Unity 3D tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a simple follow AI in Unity. If you um, for this tutorial, make sure to sub a like on this video. Make sure to subscribe with the notification bell. Click. Make sure to follow my social media. And let's get right into it. So what you're going to do is open up your project and go to your scene view. Find some empty space. Then we're gonna go game object, 3D object, select like capsule. Then our transform we're gonna set this to 1.5, 1.5, 1.5 1 .5 to be at max. The transform of this capsule will I recommend be the minimum of 1.5. And we're on the y-axis we're gonna set this to negative 90 degrees and enter. Then that's the basic new, and we're gonna name the capsule to AI. Then enter. Then in our assets folder, we're gonna create a new folder. Right click, create folder, name this AI. If you don't know what AI stands for, it stands for artificial intelligence. Which is a non-playable character. You, you know what AIs are in most in video games. Stay with the Unity engine. Right within our AI folder, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag some a texture and a physical physical material in. And we can create the material for the AI. If you want to create this physical material yourself, right click, create, and scroll down to you see physical material. And copy the settings here the dynamic friction to 0 0.6, and standard friction 0 0.6, the bouncing this to 0, the friction and bounce combine to average. I'm going to delete this one, or I got the this asset from, I'm going to make sure to rename it to, let's see, I don't know what I just did, to rename to AI, AI face, and we report it this time. Make sure we set this to texture type. Click on. Make sure you click on the AI face. Right click. Make sure you left click it to texture. Where it says texture type, you want to set this to spread 2D in UI, and just click apply. Leave the other settings alone. Then we want to put the AI face clicked. Press Control D to duplicate. This one we set. Same thing, same process, but we're going to set it this to normal mat. Create from grayscale, check that. Leave, the same, leave it by default. And hit apply. Voila. Now we're going to create the, the material for this. Within our AI assets folder, right click, create, then hit and click material. And we're, we're going to rename this to AI. You can call it AI material, whatever you want to do. For the albedo, which is the color, I'm going to drag in a normal map, of the, the normal. Then we're going to drag our normal map, AI face 1, to the normal map. There we go, and that's what we should have. Then we drag this material onto the capsule. Now this is what it looks like. Kind of fucking creepy. We need to screw this a little bit a little bit more. 
Now that you're a game view and see what it looks like, that's what it looks like now. And yes, and I know it kind of freaks you all out. And now we're going to create a C chart script for this. So in our scripts folder, right click, create C chart script. We're going to call this AI. Or you can call it AI follow. I'm going to just going to name it AI for now. And I'm going to open this in model develop. And we do some coding. This is a simple follow AI script, which you can download from the website for free. Go to the website link below. And go to community scripts and look for the AI script, which you can download for free. The reason why I'm using 2017.4 is I don't like the newer versions of Unity, so I'm going to stick with Unity 2017.4. So we're just going to wait for this to pop up. I'm going to pause and come back. Alright, what we need to do is get rid of the, this top note. On the void ID note, we're going to get rid of that and the rid of the void start. We don't need that. All we need to do is, all we need is the void update. Alright, so. On here, we want one. Um, we're just going to add one variable. This one's going to be public transform which is going to be the target the semicolon, that's it. That's the only one variable that you need. Alright, now within our void update we want transform dot look at so it's going to look at the target which is going to be the player it's going to look at the player then transform dot translate it's going to translate the vector 3 dot forward times, um, we're going to say 5 times time dot delta time. Close curly bracket with a semicolon and save the script. That is the simple script that we just need. That's the simple script. Now let's go back to the Unity engine. And we're going to touch this AI script to the AI. Click on our AI. Uh, I might be wrong. Hold on. No, it's going to touch the PS controller. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, the transform. The target will be the FPS controller. That'll be just simple as that. And, and save the scene. Save all. Of course, it's going to go back to model develop. Just save the scene. And, we're, and that, that is it. And now if we play test this, we test it out. Make sure the script isn't working properly. Right, it is. Yep, it just follows you. And the face needs to be turned. Just like that. I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, I see why. It was the timer. Alright, so as so the script works. So that is simply how to create a simple follow AI in Unity. If you like this video, make sure to the like on this video. Make sure to subscribe with the notification bell clicked. You know, miss a simple video, stream, or premiere. I'll see you guys in a brand new video.